What's going on folks, Tactical Bartender here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're just seeing this video for the first time or any of my videos for the first time, that makes sense. Let's stop that and take, take it again. What's going on folks, Tactical Bartender here. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you found some great value in this video. So, uh, or any of the videos for that matter. Consider uh, liking this video, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon to receive future notifications for when I upload. Now today I'm gonna be doing pretty much an EDC bag update. So the bag I'm gonna be showing you guys is the uh, Bulldog Range Bag. This is a bag I actually carried prior to the EDC bag video y'all seen before, which was going over the loadout of this little molding sport bag. You know, it's a pretty small bag. It worked for about a week and a half till I realized there was things missing out of it that I wanted with me. Uh, and this bag couldn't accommodate it. It's small. Now, if you're just, you know, running up the street or whatever, like simple simple tasks, quick things or whatever, you know, this bag would work. But majority of the time I'm carrying this bigger bag because it's really, it's not really inconvenient to carry this bag compared to this one. To me, they, they're about... Well, obviously this one's a little bigger, but um, what it accommodates means a lot more to me. So anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be jumping in this bag. I'm going to show you guys what's in it, the few extra things that I put in it. Uh, you'll see a lot of the same things from the bag before, the video before. And like I said, this is the Bulldog Tactical Range Bag. Uh, it's about 14 inches wide, 7 inches tall, 6 inches deep, something like that. So. These bags only go for like 20 bucks on Amazon. So this is actually my second one. My roommate liked the bag. <clears throat> so I sold him an old one uh, for half price, pretty much 10 bucks. And I got me a new one for 20. So you, you cannot beat that deal for this bag. I had the, the previous bag I had for 10, uh, 10 years. <laughs> had it for three years and uh, was a great bag. So got another one. Now, if you guys watched the uh, building of the trauma kit and first aid kits, if you've seen that, I talked about building a medical bag I'm probably going to go with this back because for 20 bucks, it's really hard to beat. So let's just jump in this uh, real quick. As you guys can see on the top, it's got one main compartment on the top, two bigger pockets on the sides, and then it's got two smaller pockets up front. So I'll unzip at the top one, just so you guys can kind of get a what, what it looks like right there. That's that. So... I keep a copycat tourniquet in there. Actually, let's go ahead and angle that up a little bit. Let's just put it back there. But I keep a copycat, copycat tourniquet in there. Uh, no, it's not a real cat or a cat seven or anything like that, uh, seventh gen. But it seems to work fine. Um, you'll see it. Well, you actually seen it in the, in the in the first day video. Works fine, serves its purpose. I'll get a cat. Like you guys got to understand when you're prepping or you know doing stuff like I do. You wind up buying stuff like this uh, because it's it's what you can afford at the time. So, and then as you go, it's better it's better to have this than nothing. You know what I mean? So as you go, you upgrade, and this will go into like a different kind of bag, you know. But you know, maybe not my my main EDC bag. Uh, I'll have actual Cat Seven or whatever in there. <clears throat> but in the meantime, that's what I'm carrying in there right now. So I'll have that in there. You guys remember this bag from the previous video? This is my trauma kit. So, boom, keep some trauma stuff in there, triangular bandages, Madison supplies, shears, hyphen vents, um, mylar blanket, some sutures, some steri strips. I uh, also keep a SWAT T tourniquet in there, uh, some cloth tape, ace bandage, uh, MPA, nasal pharyngeal, some um, hemostatic agent. That kind of stuff. More more traumatic stuff. And once again, guys, I have to re reiterate this because sometimes people hit the comments um, irrationally and say, well, where's this? Where's this? I'm, I'm still building that stuff, guys. This is what I have at the moment. I will continue to build uh, build on my bags and etc. <clears throat> Being that I take this bag with me most of the time to work, I also have a 
couple of these in there. I fix phones on the side. It's like a little side business I do. So I have like my stamp. I don't want to show because it it's got my number, but it's got like my 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 business, my phone number, and uh, you know five percent off or whatever. Then I got the one for the channel, Tactical Bartender. I'll stamp that sometimes uh, if people are interested and want to check out the channel. Uh, keep my EDC, which right now it's got the Keltec in there. So it's got the little sexy traction grips on the sides. I like this gun. I am, uh, like I said, guys, when you start off, you get what you can get at the time. It's better than nothing. Uh, this gun, me and this gun, I've had a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, but it's about to probably be sold to someone that, that, that wants it. And, um, I'm an upgrade. So someone else can enjoy it like I did. And I plan on upgrading to the Ruger EC9S. So that'll be the next one. <coughs> uh, keep my, and this is one of the main reasons I like to keep my tripods and stuff like that and the tripod that's actually holding my camera now would normally be in this bag but it's it's holding the camera um i keep a face mask just wrapped around just to keep it you know safe but keep my gopro hero session in there so that goes in there it's good for shooting action shots action shots stuff like that um keep a pair of spare spare pair spare set of clothes that, that works out better it's just rolled up. These are my shorts, and inside the shorts that are rolled up in there is a t-shirt, pair of boxers, socks, and a muscle shirt. Uh, I always keep a magazine, just depending on which fire I'm, I'm carrying. Like I said, right now, the kel in there. This will actually stay out, because before this video, I put that in here. That was actually what I was carrying in my inside the waistband. Uh, when I'm around the house, it's, it's small, it's light, so that's usually what I carry around the house inside my waistband. Uh, getting this stuff put back in here real quick. I've already shot this video a ton of times and I'm hoping um, I can make it faster, make it shorter. I also keep a multi-tool and, and we're still in the main compartment. So keep the same multi-tool. You guys have seen this. I love it. It's got a hammer on it. Not too many multi-tools have that. So that's pretty cool. Got a tourniquet back in there. Oh yeah. And the trauma kit. Boom. And all that fits perfect. I mean, I've got plenty of space for more stuff, you know, but all right, moving into the side pocket real quick. It's kind of trying to make this quicker now. Um, I keep usually like munchy stuff, stuff like that. So I've got some beef jerky sticks. Uh, one's got cheese or whatever. Keep some fruit snacks. Took these from your mom's house. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fruit snacks. Jacked them from one of my, from, from my kids. Drip drops. We talked about these a couple times. Last time being in the, uh, first aid kit. So Got as much hydration as an IV, so they say. I don't know, but they do work really well. So uh, I keep my power bank in there, fully charged. Let's hope so at least. Boom, yeah. Keep that fully charged, and I've got my iPhone charger with it connected to it. Throw that stuff back in there. So that's what's going on in that one. And usually I'll throw like a, if I do plan on doing some filming, my boy mic also goes in there along with the wall charger because I'm a bartender, so. Uh, a lot of times people want to use, they need a charger, so I got them. And if I need a charger also at the same time, I've got my power bank. Moving into the opposite pocket on the other side. <clears throat> this is mostly hygiene stuff in here. Um, I keep some gel and a little two ounce ramekin. A uh, little bottle of smell good. Some deodorant. It's, yeah, okay, if you know what it is, it's preferred stock. I'm not, there's no shame in my game. I'll tell you what it is. My favorite's Chrome. Uh, I even like some of the old schools, like Mambo Curve. Those are the ones, those are my favorites, but I got that in the gift, uh, the gift box, whatever, for Christmas. I, I Ask anyone that knows me, I do not like throwing anything away. I will find a use for it. So this is kind of like, eh, throw it in the bag. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll need it. These are like body oils. You get them at the gas station for like $2.99 or $1.99. This is Dolce Gabbana. So, smells good. But I keep those. Those work great to, you know, get your smell good on. Just put a little on your hand, a little bit of water, and go to town. Keep some sanitizer in there. Plenty of uses for that. Grab this. Uh, I think this is an old mini shampoo bottle or whatever, but I threw some three-in-one uh, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Threw that in there. Keep a washcloth in there. Um, keep my business cards in there. My phone restore. What else we got in there? 
some wisp. You never know when you have to get your teeth cleaned on the go real quick. So I keep those. Like I said, I love being clean. Love, uh, love my hygiene products. So, and then last but not least, well, actually, there's two more things. A pair of tweezers. Like I said headphones in case I don't feel like hearing shit. Just toss them in and mind my own damn business. So put that, putting that stuff back in real quick. And we're going we're gonna to go ahead and move to the uh, front pockets. All right, moving into the front pocket. We're unzipping the, the one on my left, so I guess it'd be on your right. I don't know how that works. I think too much. Probably thinking too deep into it. But I keep, like, my EDC items. <coughs> like my wallet, well, my money clip, really. Just literally just for holding money. That's all it is, for holding cash. And it's got a little spare blade in there Gerber makes this if you want to check it out I'll try to remember to include a link but just a money clip I usually have this on my phone right here this little back case on my iPhone XR that carries a little extra cash also in my debit card and my ID so that's usually where that stuff's at um, keep a spare lighter in there a pen uh, some vape juice along with my vapes usually in there too Keep an extra flashlight. Uh, and some Carmex. 100 uses for this as well, so. So all kinds of uses for Carmex. It, it doesn't have to just be for chap lips, so. All kinds of stuff you can do with Carmex. Or chapstick, period. Make a fire with it. Make a candle out of it. And guys, I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video, but uh, just to reassure you guys know exactly what I'm doing here. This. This bag is not a bug out bag. This is this is just my EDC bag. This is what I carry every single day. This is a practical bag for what's for what I carry every single day. <coughs> I've got other bags hanging up, my bug out bags, all that stuff. Different kinds of bags. This is this isn't for shit, it's the fan. Or SHTF, maybe I should say on here. This is literally just my practical bag that I carry every day. So you're not I'm not I don't have uh, ways to make fire. Well, I mean I got a lighter, you know, and I've got some Carmex. I mean I could make a fire out of here. But it's not revolved around that. I'm sure you guys get my drift. <coughs> Last pocket to the that was beside that. I keep some OTC medicines: acetaminophen, ibuprofen, um, Imodium AD. I usually keep Benadryl and Gasex. This is usually what I keep in pretty much every kit I have. Every kit I have, I usually have first aid somewhere. I uh, keep a pair of latex-free, vinyl-free, or vinyl gloves, powder-free, whatever. Thing of steri strips. Nah. There's the gas X right there. Keep my boo boo kit. Like I said, it, anywhere I go, I usually have my trauma kit with me, and that accommodates whatever first aid kit I have. And it's usually one of these because if I'm just carrying a bag, this is what I'm throwing in the bag as far as a, a first aid kit, and my trauma kit accommodates this. So, you guys have seen that the the layout of this. It's just uh, some roll gauze, some cleaning towels. Some band-aids, stuff like that. First aid, bird cream, triple antibiotic, ammonia inhalant, two by twos, uh, hemostatic agent, blood clotting agent. So, same stuff. That's what I keep in there. I'm trying to remember what else is in here. Uh, keep a couple OTC medicines in here also. Baby aspirin, stuff like that. Uh, Benadryl, some tape. Should probably, I've got some better tape I should throw in there, but. What else? Oh, yeah. And also keep the tab for the lady that walked my tab like two months ago. I don't I don't play those games. Still waiting for her to come in. That was like $37 I had to spend on her tab. So whatever your name is, uh, uh, Bar 107, I'm still looking for you. When I see you, I know exactly. I, I, I kept the record of it. It's in my bag. It's a little faded out by now, but I can still see the total in what you had. Coming for you. Small claims court, you know what I'm saying? But, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. That's that's what I keep in here. Uh, this is, like I said, this is my practical EDC bag. It's bigger than um, God. I got stuff falling everywhere. Get a drill and gas X. Let's keep them, keep them individual. Um, I keep it practical, guys. This is what I carry every day. This is this is the bag that I, like I said, carry every day, and uh, I haven't had any uses or any uh. Anything that I needed that wasn't in here, so I've I've got everything in here. So um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> At the end of this video, you'll see a couple videos that you can click on automatically. 
One of them is going to be the video for the first aid and trauma kit builds that I did uh, last week. You can click those videos. That's the video that you guys have to pay attention to if you want to be entered in the drawing. So go check out that video. Uh, check it out. Building first aid, trauma kits, yada, yada, yada. At the end, we'll be showing you, uh, tell me about the giveaway. So if you're a new subscriber, I'll tell you now, but you have to go to that video because that's that's how I'm keeping up with, you know, who, who subscribed and yada, yada, yada. Go back to that video, subscribe to the channel, and any new subscribers, I'm going to be building you an IFAC. So for those of you that don't, that don't know, IFAC stands for Individual First Aid Kit. Um, so they're definitely something that they're, they're great to have. Might get you started on your prepping. Maybe you just maybe you're prepping, but you don't have that. So, and I've actually got one behind me. I think <clears throat> that's not an IFAC. It's more of my my first aid kit that I grab and go uh, if I need it for that day or whatever. But that's basically what it is. So, go back, comment on that video, um, give me my IFAC if you're a new subscriber, and that'll put you in the drawing for that. If you're an old subscriber that have, that that have been down with me for a while, you can comment. Uh, give me my surprise. And for anyone that's been a subscriber for a while, I'm going to be giving you away a surprise. So you comment, give me my surprise. And on May 23rd is when this giveaway ends, when the campaign ends, April 23rd and May 23rd. <coughs> uh, the old subscribers that have been here for a while, I'll be giving them a surprise. It could be a canteen, could be a camp stove, could be a trauma kit, anything to get you started prepping or it, 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 any sort of prepping item really is what it's going to be. So. Uh, stay tuned with that. Check that out. I'm trying to see if I have any more message for you. I mean, it could be a light. That was another thing. Speaking of that, you also also you also always have your pocket knife on you and your. I carry the micro stream stream light. So, because uh, I don't want someone to get in the comments and be like, "Where's that's the flashlight you carry? That's shitty." And like I said, you you, you start off with what you can get. That is that was my my EDC flashlight for a while because that's what I could afford. Uh, that's what I felt comfortable, you know, spending out of budget. Uh, but now, like I said, it's the Streamlight Micro Stream, and it's way better, USB, rechargeable, all that good stuff. So you upgrade as you can go, but it's important just to get started somewhere. So anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all, and feel free to leave a comment down below about what you would change about this mag, what you would add to it. And if it's practical, I might consider throwing it in. So peace out, guys. What's going on, YouTube world? It's Tyler Bartender here. Welcome back to the channel, and those that are first-time viewers, a uh, special welcome to you. Hope you guys can gain some, uh, in, some some sort of value out of this. And, uh, and something, I don't know, something. Just fucking get something out of it. Got Let's drink a beer, guys. Forgot to add this over here. So. Sierra Nevada, good stuff. Let's see if we can pop this. See ya. What's going on, YouTube world? It's your boy, Tactical Bartender here. Coming at you with a quick video today. Welcome to, what, why, why did you change the, the whole script? Like you already had it, you already had the words, like what are you doing?